Hey guys, I'm here with my last video in my Back to Basics series and today I'll be discussing products. Now I decided to add a video on products because I really geared this series towards new naturals and transitioners out there. So this video is kind of for them just to let them know what type of products are out there and let them know that going natural really is inexpensive. A lot of people like to say oh it's expensive you have to buy so many things but you really don't and a lot of stuff you may already have at home. And another thing I touched on in my transitioning video was new naturals naturals and transitioners become product junkies and I know I still buy a lot of products but in order to eliminate you spending a lot of money I did want to go through a few products under each category so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's out there and what may work best for your hair and I list somewhere around here additional products that I've used or other products that may work well in your hair I don't shampoo my hair very often so I don't have a lot of different shampoos to tell you guys about but I'll let you know about um, one for sure that I think is a really great shampoo for transitioners as well as new naturals or anybody that's throughout their journey and um, the first one is Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo and this one is for dry damaged hair and I love Shea Moisture's products um, they have a few different lines out there and this is the one that's for raw shea butter and if I'm not mistaken I saw one time where they said that the raw shea butter line was kind of geared towards transitioners and one of my friends is transitioning and this is the shampoo that she's using right now so I think this would be a really great shampoo to pick up it's closer to the $10 mark but it's something that'll last for a while because shampooing is something that we don't do that often and Shea Moisture also has additional lines like I said which includes shampoos, conditioners styling products as well as leave-ins so, so you may want to check out Shea Moisture for a full set of products or you may just want to try a couple of in each Now a shampoo that I've been using um, lately is a shampoo from Whole Foods and this is the 365 brand from Whole Foods and it's just the citrus grapefruit shampoo for oily plus normal hair and because I don't shampoo very often I don't care about my shampoos honestly I just use them here and there and I always follow up with a condition and I usually deep condition when I shampoo as well so if it's not a great shampoo, it's not a big deal to me. But this is the shampoo I've been using, and this one is only $2.99. Sometimes I do choose to cleanse my hair with apple cider vinegar, and it has a lot of benefits for your hair. So I would suggest picking up this container, and as you guys know, this probably lasts almost forever because it's not something that you use on your hair every time you wash it. Um, it's just additional product for cleansing or something that you can use here and there. The first conditioner, which is the cheapest conditioner I think that is on the market out there that works really well in our natural hair, is the VO5 Moisture Milk. I absolutely love this conditioner. You'll never find this product over $2. Um, it's so creamy. A little actually goes a long way, and I absolutely love it. Your hair feels so moisturized after this. And um, it also has really great slip for you to detangle with this product, so I absolutely love this product in my hair. Another conditioner that I love to use in my hair is the Tresemme Naturals and this is the Vibrantly Smooth Conditioner with Coconut Oil and Jojoba Extract. And this one says it's a silicone free conditioner um, but you know silicones do add slip. So I love to use this conditioner in my hair but a lot of times I pair with my VO5 so that I can get the perfect moisture and the perfect slip for detangling my hair. And another conditioner that I've just discovered slash um, cleansing conditioner is the Pantene for Natural Hair hair co-wash cleansing conditioner and I absolutely love this product um I've been using it this entire month so I can do a full review so I'm not going to talk too much about it the first one is of course from the Pantene from natural line again they came out with a deep conditioner and this one is only $3.99 I picked it up from Target Another deep conditioner that I really enjoy using is the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner. And I love this deep conditioner. Um, I've used it alone. I use it sometimes with my VO5. I love to mix my VO5 in a lot of my products because it's so moisturizing. But um, I love this deep conditioner. My hair feels soft as well. And I would suggest picking this one up. And this is around the 5 or $6 mark. And just because I have other products from Shea Moisture brand, I want to show you two deep conditioners that I've used from Shea Moisture as well. This one is from the Raw Shea Butter line, and this is a deep treatment conditioner. And this one is from the African Black Soap line, and this is a purification mask. And I like to use the purification mask after protective styling, and I like this one because it's meant for dry and itchy scalp. And usually my protective styling is a sew-in, and I get so much buildup on my hair. My hair is itching and feels so dry and yucky, and I like to use this prior to shampooing just to lift that build up off my scalp and just kind of add a little moisture 
So the first one I'm going to tell you about is the Beautiful Textures Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner. I like this one. Um, it's inexpensive and it also makes detangling a little bit easier. The second one is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Creamy Hair Lotion. Now, I absolutely love this product on my hair. Um, it leaves it feeling so soft. Oh, and I sealed it, I believe, with almond oil. I absolutely love this. And I got this in my February Curl Kit, and I'm so excited about it. And I'm probably going to go out and pick up two more of these just so I can already have them in my product stash. Another product from Shea Moisture that I do like to use as a leave-in from time to time is from the Coconut and Hibiscus line. And this is the Curl and Style Milk. And, um... This one is closer to the $10 mark. Most of the Shea Moisture products are around the $10 mark. But this is also a really good product. And I absolutely love the Coconut and Hibiscus line. I have about five or six products from that line from Shea Moisture. So I absolutely love this one as well. And another leave-in that is not for natural hair or geared towards natural hair that I love to use on my hair is the Gagne Fructi Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. It's cheap. It has the little um, pop-up tube that I like to use. It's 10.2 ounces. It looks small, but a lot of product is in here. You don't need a lot of it. It's very creamy. I just love this product. Um, and no, it is not for natural hair, but it does have argan oil from Morocco and apricot in it. If you guys are interested in finding something else or you haven't found a perfect leave-in yet and you want to find something really cheap, I would suggest this one as well because it's really inexpensive and I really love it on my hair. They have so many oils out there. I have about five or six or even seven oils. But I'm only going to talk about two because like I said, this video, I don't want to get too confusing with all the different oils. And I don't want people to think they have to go out and purchase everything. The two oils that I would suggest, new naturals, transitioners, anybody to pick up and have in their collection. The first one is olive oil. And I absolutely love olive oil for hot oil treatments. They penetrate your hair so well. Um, I also love olive oil for taking down style. It's really inexpensive. You can find it anywhere. And your parents probably already have it in the kitchen if you live with them. My favorite oil um, I think that I've used so far is the coconut oil. I absolutely love this. I get mine from Whole Foods, but it's also available at Walmart. And I think it's between five to seven dollars something like that but it lasts a really long time and i've been using this now for almost two years so um and this is probably only my second jar and i just want to show you the inside of this jar it's a really thick consistency and when you get coconut oil it's different from other oils because you get it and it's kind of thick but if you rub it in it come it disappears so it's really easy to use on your hair because you can get out exactly how much you need. You can rub it in your hands to warm it up and then it'll become an oil. So I love this for sealing moisture in my hair. I love this for taking down styles because it's not messy at all. Well, I really didn't want to talk about styling products, but I'm going to show you one product that I think you need to get and you need to purchase, but you probably already have it. It's some gel and I use the eco styler gel with the olive oil included with the green top they have different kinds um, with eco styler you'll never go wrong with gel you need gel forever you use gel for washing goals gel to pull back slick back your hair for buns gel is just a really great product that you're always going to be using if anybody out there has just recently big chopped and they have really short hair they're rocking a little fro um, and you like that wet kind of wash and go look, I would suggest just to pick up some gel. Don't go out and buy all these different styling products that's meant to define curls. Um, if you're not really sure how they work or anything like that, pick up gel. You'll have something that's going to work really well for your hair. A lot of these products you probably already have at home, but you have to be careful with the things that you use in your natural hair. Your hair is really delicate, and you can't just put any type of tool in your hair. You can't use any kind of comb. You can't use any kind of clip. So I wanted to show you some of the tools that will really work best in your natural hair. my 
video and also the end of my series i really enjoy making these videos for you guys it was informative to you but it also was informative to me it's always great to refresh your memory with the basics of natural hair like i say it is the key and it's the foundation to having a healthy hair care journey don't forget to check the bottom bar for um, a list of all the products that i discussed in this video and I hope you guys find these products very helpful throughout your journey. Stay tuned for future videos. I'm definitely excited to be finished with this basic information. And I'm ready to get into tutorials, product reviews, and also discuss a little bit more makeup and beauty products. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, thank you all for all the likes, for the comments, the new subscribers that I have. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. Like I say, stay tuned for my next video. And bye, guys.